so hello everyone so again we are at iit kanpur so now i am having uh, shivangi with me so shivangi is uh, basically going to tell about all the courses in department where what she is pursuing over there so uh, welcome to your pdia platform shivangi yeah, yeah. so shivangi first of all tell us about your course your specialization and which part of the india you are okay so basically i am uh, i have been brought up in jamshedpur but my roots are from bihar and i have done my bachelor's in manipal university which is in karnataka and uh, and then now i'm doing my masters in civil engineering and my specialization is geoinformatics all right so tell me something about your course yeah, actually my uh, specialization uh, my specialization is geoinformatics it's uh, if you break the geoinformatics you get geo plus information information related to earth and uh, in that course we do uh, we have remote sensing gis lidar and uh, navigation and mapping and uh, these many courses are uh, offered and uh, we have data adjustment which is very necessary for survey of india they do data data adjustment uh, for to get the precise location about anything and google also uses uh, you know uh, data adjustments yeah so uh, shivanki in which hostel you are staying um i'm stay currently staying in hall 4 hall 4 okay so uh, tell me about your research areas yeah we, uh, we can uh, we can have uh, we have research a, uh, area in many fields like we have we can do research in uh, remote sensing and we can do research in gis and then we have uh, lidar we can do research area in, on lidar and then data adjustment and, and uh, we are, uh, we use a lot of machine uh, machine learning algorithms and we do a lot of coding so we can explore there also so how would your civil branch is being useful for this particular course because i think this is a interdisciplinary course right yeah yeah so many other branch students can also apply for this yeah, yeah yeah so how is this civil is related to geoinformatics so in geoinformatics we uh, we, uh, we use receivers uh, receivers to get the location from the satellites we study about satellites and then we do go we, we go for survey and sir to get to and we do the uh, random survey to go get the location of this like we in order to make road we have to know the precise location for that uh, field, for that we do survey uh in uh, this is interdisciplinary field in survey branch hmm. this is a branch interdisciplinary of survey in civil and uh, we do all and then we do data adjustment for and after they get the location and precise location we uh, do the data adjustment in this way it is related to civil so being a civil engineer you were having the so many options uh, yeah, like yeah. you can go into the core domain some uh, interdisciplinary domains also like data science and other domain also you can apply you you, yeah. you can choose that so so why geoinformatics for you only I personally interlink with that subject. Hmm. It's like it's about connection. I felt the connection will like it's in emerging field also in this like uh, in this the day, uh, budget. Uh, government also government also a lot uh, allocated hundred crore uh, fund for this this branch geo spatial and ma mapping. They want to convert the, their raw map into digit into into the digitized form. So it, it's emerging and it's very moving to me. Yeah, hmm. that's why I choose. I felt connection to that. Subject. And and what are the various career opportunities available in this particular field? Uh, it's it's still emerging. Uh, we can uh, we have geo spe we uh, we can become geo specialist analyst and then we use geo special engineer also. And if we develop our most skill and then we can become AI ML engineers. Uh, we have uh, we have a lot of exposure. Rather than becoming to core, we have a lot of exposure. So uh, we can try that out. we uh, yeah yes sir okay and, and what about the life in the campus life is really good life hmm. is really good <laughs> we uh, we do we don't get time but if we do we can enjoy it fully hmm. uh, we have uh, uh, we can develop a skill like in whatever way we want to if you if you want to do rock climbing we can do it if you want if you are interested in music we can do it. it's about the interest uh, what you what you what interests you we can do anything everything is available here Name one thing and everything is there. And you are into the second year? No, no, first year. You are in the first year. Yeah. And uh, you must be aware about the placement opportunities. Yeah, yeah. So what? Tell me about the placement opportunity in geoinformatics. So it uh, depends on uh, depends on the uh, like it's still emerging. So not many, uh, not it's happening, but not much in core. But uh, like if you develop a skill, like uh, I personally, I'm interested in the ML engine, ML field. So if we if, if it's about developing skills, yeah, we get the opportunity to develop our skills. Uh, we uh, we are so much pressurized to do work hard and to bring the utmost result in minimal time uh, so if we develop a skill we have uh, like we are we can get job in analyst job and then uh, ml engineer and then data science uh, scientist anything yeah 
anything you want to tell to the prospective students who are looking for the, to make their career in this particular field i think geoinformatics yeah. so tell me about the uh, prospective candidates that if anybody wants to make career in this particular domain only if we want to explore other than core civil and uh, because core civil is limited if you want to go un- if you want to go unlimited then you can try this branch if you want if you are interested in how earth moves how we cal- if earth is moving how we ca- how we calculate the uh, location how we how satellite works if you want to explore that you should join this uh, this branch and then you have but you have to work really hard to develop your skills and to become something you have to compromise something uh, in order to uh, in order to develop your skill you have to work really hard yeah and but it's very interesting you like it so you are talking about the skill yeah so so anything you want to tell to the students who are the undergrad who are doing the bachelors and who want to basically go into this particular domain of geoinformatics yeah. so what skill they basically adapt in that time of their bachelor if you want to add something into it yeah if i if i mentioning skills okay uh first you have you should know what you want to become if you if you are very much interested in uh, being a specialist engineer you should know what what the demands are like what they want in a company what they want from you you have to start learning from that you have to start start from scratch and may go to a certain level you have to uh, be you have to be a professional you should know be uh, working behind what you're saying if you're saying something you should know what is going on inside that that type of skill i'm talking about okay and any any hard skill or any uh, not the sort of hard skill means any language or any particular course Code. or anything ha huh? in, in 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 bachelor in coding like yes yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, means you, whatever it is related to this geoinformatics and if anybody wants to basically enter into the geomatics in uh, geoinformatics yeah, in the yeah. masters okay, and okay. at the bachelor level they do not do let us suppose this coding and etc yeah, yeah, especially yeah. for the civil branch so if you want to add that what type of skill if they want to enter into this geoinformatics yeah, should yeah. learn at the bachelor level or between the bachelor and entering to the masters or for this particular okay course. okay like you get sufficient time to work on yourself you uh, you should know basic working uh, python c++ matlab these all thing basics you should know ke how these are work so they'll ask you to to code then you should not be su- act surprised say, what is this you should know ke yeah, i'll do it how how things work coding is sufficient you should, you just know the uh, you should know the basics of coding and then you're good to join this course so so uh, why anyone should join your course and this particular department and what are the basically the entry procedure for this particular department oh, in mtech okay. course okay entry procedure you have to qualify gate okay and then after like yeah, then you have to apply for that and then you have to come here for for another written test and then if you qualify that then you are eligible for interview and uh, these are the basics uh, procedure for this and uh, so what about the uh, written test just tell in detail that what yeah, questions they ask they'll ask they'll ask, uh, they'll ask uh, basic uh, basic maths integration differentiation and uh, numerical methods they'll ask you you should know that so like it's all about the mathematics yeah, in the written test it's all about the mathematics yeah, 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 and mathematics. in the interview yeah they'll ask uh, they'll ask about your subject uh, if you are from uh, like it's a interdisciplinary yes, subject yes. they'll ask from that if you are from cs they'll ask you about coding uh, coding and then if you are from civil then they'll ask you survey uh, depends uh, what branch you are in yeah. okay means they will ask about the mathematics about the coding part and somewhere and your basic branch means your bachelor yeah, branch yeah, because bachelor, that because that is your identity bachelor, I, that is yeah, your identity four years you are spending that and they are definitely going to check your knowledge and interest sure, in sure. that particular department yeah, yeah, also sure. about the scholarships what you are getting over here yeah I, we have two type of scholarship one is for mtech and one is for msr msr gets 12200 and we mtech we get 12400 Okay. Yeah. And how hard or tough is this course? Like it's it's really time taking. You don't get anything apart from this to do. Uh, like whole day, whole month, every th- every time you're doing assignments, you're having quizzes. Uh, they keep you all engaged all the time. Uh, it's very it's very time consuming and time taking. Yeah. But it's not tough. It, it is tough. Like, but if you enjoy the subject, it's good. And it it also depends upon the background of the students. Mean the bachelor. Mm, it doesn't level? it doesn't affect much like you, you everyone will, will get to uh, will go will get to know the a new thing uh, there's no much background only cs people get a little bit help apart from that uh, we all are same no different and and what about the placement opportunities 
placement opportunities in terms of means for type of companies that are coming over there and what the average package if okay, you know anything related average package uh, average package is around uh, mm, some people got to, to, uh, like some people got 20 lakh and 21 lakh some people got 6 lakhs 6 lakhs to 8 lakhs and some people are still unplaced so it's still going on uh, it's under process the placement is some uh, you have to try it uh, off ca off campus placement as well you should not be relying 100% on in campus placement Definitely, I mean, if any companies coming over there, so they also require some skills in that particular student. If yeah, that yeah. skill is not there, definitely they are going yeah, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends you. on the skill, yeah, how you develop the skill. And what about the campus life over here? Yeah, campus life is like really good, really good. You get, like, after you get frustrated, uh, you, are, you get frustrated, we have a lot of things going on. Uh, we have OAT, then you can go and enjoy yourself, you can go... Uh, Everything is uh, is here in the campus. You have park. You can go relax. You have friends. You can go there, roam around at night. There's no restriction. Ki ha, you have night perm or anything. You you can have fun if you are like tensed. What about the life outside campus? We don't need like life outside campus. It's everything is inside. We don't need to go outside. Only apart from traveling, inside is best. Okay. Uh, anything you know about this campus because we are staying here from the one year. Not people outside. Okay, like in which respect? In any respect, in terms of academics or the other thing, anything. Academic, like we yeah. have, <laughs> uh, like during uh, during midterms, uh, midterm, uh, we are so much, uh, like we are so much, and uh, we have sleepless nights. Uh, we all we all have sleepless night for like ten to fifteen days in a row. We have quizzes, assignments. But we have a lot of fun as well. It's not like you have IIT reached IIT and you don't uh, like. After that, life set up. It's not You have to work hard on that. And if you are very tense, IIT, IIT, it's so much. But it's not like that. In IIT, there is a lot of fun. The amount we are studying, the amount we are enjoying. So everything is there. Everything is balanced. It's just you have to find the midway. You should not be like 100% inclined towards study and 100% towards this. You should find the midway. That yes, the life balance is there. Last question, Shivangi. Anything yeah. you want to tell to the students who are basically looking to make their career after means doing the higher studies or the research domain? Anything you want to tell? If uh, if you are if you like a masters come from interest. If you are interested, then only you can join. Like, but because if you are not interested and you are not getting enough CPI or something, then uh, it, it's gonna be bad. If, Join when you are interested. It's not like कि हाँ तुम्हें करना ही है क्योंकि और कोई option नहीं दिख रहा है. Options बहुत होंगे but IIT Kanpur में if you are doing masters, you should be interested in your subject. And if you can do it, then you can join. Yeah. एक question रहता है शिवांगी बच्चों का जैसे आपने बोला मेरा interest था. Yeah yeah. बहुत सारे students को majority students को ये पता नहीं होता bachelor level पे मेरा interest किस domain में है. Yeah yeah. How they identify? Okay. How they should under, uh, identify their interest? Let, let, let us suppose my game, my game gate, my gate score is very good. So now I have so many options. I want, I am having options to my core domain, I can go to interdisciplinary, I can go to masters, I can go to MS, I can go to PhD. Mein jau. Although this question is very tough, okay, okay. This, is, this varies from person to person. But otherwise in your uh, point of view. Okay. If I am in that place, if, if I am multi-talented and I want to know what I can do, so I'll see what I want from life. What I what I want from twenty years from now. I'll see kya chahiye mujhe, and hmm. then and I'll see ki what is aligning, and then I'll make the priority list. Uske baad I'll go ask my family, my friends, my, and people who I'll connect through LinkedIn, and then I'll talk to everybody ki what will be good for me. And after after all that research work, and then I'll come to one conclusion that yeah, I want to do that. Last voice should be mine. What I want to do. Great, great, very well. Okay, Shivangi, thank you. So you yeah, yeah. basically given answers very precisely and very uh, good way. So definitely this session is going to help to so many students, prospective students who are looking for yeah, yeah, yeah. now because now the session is coming that where they are going to enter into the master program. Yeah, no, hey, Shivangi, thank, no you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you so much.